So we've learned how to use our camera on manual. We've learned how to take a spot meter reading, read the exposure meter, and know if there's too much or too little light, and how to adjust that light by using either our aperture or our shutter speed. The next thing we need to learn how to do is how to compose the picture. How to take the natural elements around us and compose them into powerful imagery. How do we do that? Well, there's several things that we can look for. The first thing that we should start with is character. If your subject matter is wildlife, the most important aspect you want to pick up when photographing wildlife is its character. Does that animal have a predominant stance that's associated with it? Does it have a predominant look that's associated with it? Markings, color, anything that a person would associate with that animal. Try to capture its personality. What do I mean by personality? Well, here in this eagle painting, you can see it has that raised head, that majestic look, and what do we associate eagles with? Magistry, right? Try to capture the essence of the animal that it's known for. Another way we can capture an animal's character is through its movement, its action, or even its posture. This uh, silver fox, he's got a very cunning look on his face, while sly is definitely a characteristic that we associate with foxes. This black bear is in a very playful uh, posture. We always associate bears with a uh, kind of a ham personality. This is my boy Briggs, and he's a very bubbly, happy, playful dog. And this dynamic, energy-filled uh, running pose, this action, carries that dynamic or that youthful exuberance that my dog has. Last is this great blue heron. Whenever we think of a great blue heron, we think of these beautiful, majestic birds with these large wingspans flying over a sunrise or sunset uh, setting. So an animal's character through its natural movement, its natural posture, or its action is just one way we can care, uh, create dynamic within our picture. All of these attributes in the animal are already there. We just have to learn how to see it and then capture it on our camera. Now, as we're capturing those wonderful characteristics, we don't have to put everything smack dab in the center. Try to change things up and vary up your compositions. Try offsetting your subject matter, in this case wildlife, off to its sides, off to its thirds, off to its lower bottoms, off to its right, left, top, bottom, anything but right in the center. Just try to vary it up and you'll find that your images become a lot more dynamic and have a lot more interest to them.